Hi, I'm Jefferson Silva, and I'm here to present a theory of the engagement in open source projects via Summer of Code programs. Engaging newcomers is vital for keeping open source projects alive, but it's actually difficult to get people to become regular contributors in several cases. And without newcomers, the projects may face sustainability issues. For more than a decade, Summers of Code have represented a different way for students to onboard open source software. If you don't know, Summer of Code are programs in which participants, usually students, write software for open source projects with the help of a mentor. Uh, participating in this way offers a variety of benefits that may attract students. For example, mentoring, stipends in some cases, networking, and a summer internship that, that develops the skills the students actually want to acquire. There are a number of these programs. Uh, we selected four, Google Summer of Code, uh, Outreachy, Rails Girls, Summers of, uh, Summers of Code, and Julia Seasons of Contributions. We focus on GSOC because it's best known and by far the largest among these programs. So we ask, how do uh, open source projects onboard students participating in Summer of Code programs? And what motivates the students to participate in a Summer of Code program? To answer uh, these questions, uh, we built an engagement theory that it is itself composed of two interrelated theory, a motivational theory and a mentoring theory. We divided the building process into three phases. In the first phase, uh, we, which we called induction, our goal was to create a version of the theory based on primary data. And we used as inputs for the motivational theory, this is students and mentors survey, GSOC mentors guide, and we conducted interview with students. And in the case of the mentoring theory, we used the application form that open source projects fill in when they apply for the program. In phase two, that we called it deduction, our goal was to search for the literature for works related to students' uh, motivation and the open source project's practices when they participate in Summer of Code programs. And in the third phase that we called analysis, our goal was to understand the effects of presenting out our theory to students who had never participated in Summer of Code programs. So uh, our results for the mentoring uh, theory uh, showed that we found that the project's ac activities converged towards uh, these four categories. Projects needed to plan carefully their participation and put that plan in ex execution. They also needed to worry about how to socially integrate students and reward them for their achievements. Uh, in case of rewarding and integration, uh, these activities started before the program and carried on after the project uh, uh, in several cases. For the planning, uh, the planning activities intended at creating a contribution context that encouraged students to become contributors. The project with gray lines show how the projects materialized that intention into actions. And the, the boxes with a blue line, they show the categories for a group of these actions. Mm -hmm. So the projects started formulating a, a list of ideas uh, uh, of, about the projects could be, and then they uh, established criteria for selecting mentors, such as uh, only working with known men, uh, members or members with previous experience in GSOC. And they also worked for selecting uh, students. 
for instance, selecting students with good relationship with mentors or with good contributions, with previous contributions to code base. They also had to uh, define the criteria for uh, accepting proposals, uh, applicants' proposal, and uh, define the criteria for accepting the students' work, such as only accepting students' um, uh, code that were merged in code base. And they also defined communication policies, such as use the same channel uh, to, uh, as the other members for the students, or use dedicated channels to mentors in case they get into trouble, or define the frequency of updates that the students needed to report their progress. They also uh, needed to decide on which monitoring tools to employ and to establish a process of review uh, of the students' work. Also, uh, the project worked towards integrating students and the activities consisted of uh, trying to uh, keep things personal with the students, encourage them to give their opinions in community discussions, to welcome students or offer support uh, in theses related to the, the project or offer suggestions on how to keep involved with the community. And they also worked to reward the students. And we are aware that everything can be seen ultimately as an action towards integrating students, but we would like to highlight the actions intended at recognizing students' merit. So uh, to that, they offered uh, uh, new mentoring programs about becoming full committers. They offered team membership, mentioned a student's name on team page. They covered travel expenses to team meetings. They recognized contribution publicly to other members and uh, intended to increase the student's exposure. And obviously, they executed their plan, which consisted of mentoring the students uh, monitoring the, the students' progress and coordinating mentors. So in mentoring, they managed community expectations about work completion, identified menaces to uh, work completion, or they found alternatives to solutions, uh, alternative solutions to problems. They reviewed, tested the work, tested the, the the code of the students. They gave feedback, encouraged deliberate reflection. Uh, they encouraged the student when uh, the student got demotivated and invited the students to team meetings. And they also monitored uh, student progress and the, in some cases the communities monitored mentored activities. And in the case of the motivation theory, uh, in the case of motivation theory, we found that outcomes that act as rewards control students' motivation to contribute to the project, at least when they enter the program for the first time. We can see that several outcomes are typically associated with the motivation of open source developers. And their motivation to contribute is also influenced by their knowledge and skills. More experienced students seem to have a lower interest to remain as contributors. Also, External factors such as deadlines, family, and acquaintances can influence a students' motivation uh, as well. The actions of the projects, the actions of the projects uh, are the point where the theories are integrated. The idea is that these actions are vital to the positive outcome outcomes. All planning and execution are intended at providing a positive experience to the students. Other factors are important for students to remain as contributors, which depends on how students will interpret these. In the last phase, we wanted to collect students' perceptions to understand the effects that our theory would have on these students. So for collecting these data, we asked our students from China and Brazil to firstly answer a questionnaire, then watch a video about our theory and answer a, a second questionnaire. And 
Uh, for that, we applied for the data analysis, we applied descriptive statistics, grounded theory procedures, and we ranked the rewards uh, using this formula. In our sample work consisted of Brazilian and Chinese, we emailed 130 survey invitations, and we got uh, 41 responded, and we discarded three Chinese because they, were, uh, they had already participated in Summer of Code, in, uh, and we ended up with 38 uh, students as a working sample. Uh, and here we can actually see that the students had a pretty good idea about the learning that they would get and the contribution uh, to open source experience that if they participated in a Summer of Code program. But the theory was useful to uh, showing them some rewards that had they had not yet considered, and this led to a reprioritization of the rewards. And as a discussion, uh, uh, we can see that GSOC requires structured and solid open source projects. So we wonder that it may be hard for uh, small open source projects to participate in the program. In these cases, uh, mentors may have to choose between addressing uh, urgent project needs or mentoring the students. So uh, open source projects should consider that before participating. For most open source projects, we notice that there are no strategies focusing on the represented populations. And also participation and re-entering the programs are highly driven by the outcomes. Students that enter the program for knowledge may not remain because they may consider the knowledge and experience acquired as enough and then stop contributing. Several open source projects mentioned to work towards infusing the project's culture and philosophy and the students uh, for motivating them. So, uh, as a conclusion, uh, we understand that this work represents our first step in creating a theory that can explain when and why students remain as contributors, uh, which we call a variance theory, and this is our future work. With this said, we conclude this presentation and I hope to see you at the conference. Thanks for watching.